Hey guys and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. We're going to do a quick and easy video today cleaning up crystals that have calcite on them and some other stuff. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and let's go see what we clean. Here is a quick before video of just some of the crystals that we're going to be dipping to clean today. You can see how they've got a little bit of calcite buildup and some rust and we're gonna get rid of it. What you need, muriatic acid, your crystals in a plastic bucket and water. We're just gonna get the crystals wet. Be extremely careful when you're removing the lid from muriatic acid. There's usually a little bit of a buildup of gas and this is the fun part. So what's happening is the muriatic acid is interacting with the calcite to make it effervesce. It's basically eating the calcite off of the crystals. Just adding a little bit of water here for dilution of the acid. This reaction will continue until the solution is spent or until there's no more calcite, whichever comes first. This reaction is getting a lot stronger. You need to be very careful not to breathe in any of the fumes that are coming off of this bucket. The fumes can make you sick and burn your eyes. You want to do this outside in a well-ventilated area. There's a cloud coming up out of it. Now we're going to let this bubble like this for a few hours, maybe just an hour, and then we'll come back and we'll check it. I am going to get some safety glasses. Very, very important. And then I'm going to get, oh, those look lovely, uh, some gloves because this stuff can really dry out your hands badly. It can feel like it's burning, but it's not. And I'm gonna use these gloves for the recovery process of the crystals. Woo. Just so that we don't waste the liquid, we're gonna dump it out and then put just some leftovers in there. Oh, wow. Wow, some of those are clear and I think some of them might've fallen apart and that can happen, but let's squirt them off. Wow, they've cleaned up the, whoa, like a lot, a whole lot actually. I need multiple hands here, but. I just wanna clean them off, clean off all that acid. This is just our overflow tub. Here are the crystals all cleaned up. If you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll see how they were brown and tarnished and they've got that build up all over the actual crystal. Well, now you can see that they've been really cleaned off and those crystals are just glistening. One of the things you have to be careful with is you cannot leave any crystal in a acid solution for too long. For these crystals in particular, they actually have a calcite backing. So there's calcite in between the crystal and the host rock. So some of the crystals did pop out of that backing because the acid ate through too much of the calcite. So you gotta have a fine balance. Now I've saved the best for last. This is a semi-geode, huge batch of crystals that has nasty calcite overgrowth and some brown tarnish. We're gonna clean this up and hopefully not lose too many of the crystals. That sounds pretty cool, huh? I get a kick out of it anyways. It's such a violent reaction and it's awesome to watch. With this one, I'm going to be a tad more careful. I'm giving it a couple initial soaks with acid and then squirting it off with water in between while watching all of my other science experiments that I have going on at the moment. Now, after this wash, we're going to take this crystal and we're gonna let it soak for only 30 minutes in a very diluted solution. And you can still see that there is more of a reaction going on. That's how much calcite this crystal has on it. 
once it was cleaned, it turned out absolutely spectacular. We had a couple crystals that fell off, but that is what it is. But look at the dramatic difference and how sharp and clean those crystals look in comparison to what it did look like. I hope you guys enjoyed cleaning crystals and I hope that you take this and clean up some of the ones that you have. I would love to see the crystals that you clean up. If you tag me in a video or decide to send me a picture on Instagram, I would love to see it. Now, if you're still doubting how great the before and afters are, here are the befores and then directly after are the cleaned up crystals of the same ones. Unfortunately, the bigger crystal broke in two, and that was because there was probably a line of calcite that held those two together. And the little one I think is my favorite. Thank you all so much for watching.